Hello, YouTube fans. This is the Scar Clown. I want to talk about the Legend of Zelda. Now, I really haven't really talked about this series all that much in this series. I'm not really a hardcore fan. I'll say that out right now. I'm not really a hardcore hardcore fan. <laughs> I'll take, say that much. Really, because I played some games of it, but I never played more of them, basically. And the games that I have played, I've actually never beat them, but I've gotten far enough to actually I know I enjoy the fuck out of them like crazy. I'll say that right now. I'm not going to sugarcoat. I'm not going to lie. Not to say I'm not going back to those games like fucking crazy. <laughs> I'm doing that like crazy. I'm playing other games too at the same time. But, my, but I probably should take the time one day to just chill and play some Legend of Zelda a bit. The first Legend of Zelda that I ever played was Minish Cap, and I'm starting to play that right now, to be quite honest with you. And it just brought me so many memories back when I first played that game as a kid when, when I was on the Game Boy Advance. I don't know how people feel about Minish Cap, but I've gotten far enough to, 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 to know that I know I have fun with this game. That's just me. You know, if I'm, and I have noticed that I've played... The, the Zelda games I like and they appeal to me, they're the ones that actually stand out out of the ones that are really known. Because I have tried... Uh, what is it? Link to the Past... For the NES, I think that's what it's called. I have tried that. I never, it never actually appealed to me the way Link's Awakening did. Oh God, <laughs> you know, you know, and and then Legend of Zelda one and two appealed to me so well too. You know, it's not like other Zelda games never told me, hey, play me and everything like that. It just never brought me into the point it made me bringing to them when I came to them. As, like, the other games I mentioned. Oh, and, um... Oh, what was the other game? Hold on. Uh, what is the other game? The the game that we can switch dimensions and stuff like that. Um, Legend is out of Between Worlds or some shit. I have it right here. <laughs> some people are going to be like, it's this! But I got it right here. I'm just waiting it to be booted up. This, uh, this DS. I mean, it is kind of old, but... Look at the background I have here, to be quite honest with you. I gotta show off my DS one day. This is a hack DS that I bought for about 120 basically. It was worth it. I don't give a fuck. I'm like, you know what? Instead of me just finding a DS or using my DS to hack it and try to figure that shit out, am I really that technical? I'm gonna fucking use this. And I will have this picture. I have a whole bunch of themes with it, too. Um, obviously, I'm a big Godzilla fan. Always will be. But, okay. Okay, right here. I made a folder of this Legend of Zelda games that I have. So, as you can see, you have the first one, then the second one, then we got, uh, what is it, Link's Awakening, which is still, at least my, still to this day, my number one favorite Zelda game of all time. Right next to Zelda 2, actually, just because it's so different, to be quite honest with you. And I love the RPG aspects. And obviously, the third one, if, if I had a third list, like it was part three, you know, the Manish Cap would be in it because it's my first Zelda game I ever did. And that's the thing. That's the biggest flaw that I, I have with myself. I play these Zelda games and then I stop playing them. I do not know why. Um, it's not like with um, Ocarina of Time. Oh, well, yep. Someone, someone got pissed off. Someone was just waiting with Ocarina of Time. I tried Ocarina of Time on the DS. Um, can we talk about that on a later date? <laughs> eh, people are going to kill me. <laughs> um, moving on. I do got Majora's Mask, though. <laughs> uh, uh, I'll say this right now. The reason I am put Majora's Mask on it is because truly, I haven't really... I know it's... I, from what I have played, actually, it's pretty good. But I haven't went... I feel, I feel I haven't really sank my teeth into a lot because I played it one time when I was when I was younger when this came out and I just left it to play another game. That's what happens because when you're playing so many other games, that's what I was doing at the time. There's still other games I'm still doing that too. It's fucking crazy, guys. Most people are like, holy shit. I'm like, well, yeah, that's how Game is, man. You play all these games, but you still have a whole bunch more that you still haven't played. <laughs> that's a gamer, baby. That's a gamer. Seriously. Mm-hmm. I'm dead serious. Some of us are dying to get to this series, and some of us haven't really completed a lot of them. The 
does that really call us non-Zelda fans? I'm not getting into that discussion. I'm just saying. Because it doesn't really matter. But, you know, discussing is kind of stupid to discuss anyway, you know? If you like it, you like it, you know? And that is what I'm talking about. Link Between Worlds. I always liked that title, and I always liked the the, the, the opening to this. And I know it's a se- um it's a sequel or a prequel to uh what's it called? Link to the Past, right? On the NES, I believe. So uh, cor- correct me if I'm wrong, those hardcore Zelda fans. And I'm sorry if I am wrong. <laughs> You're probably shaking my head like this fuck eat you. Ah. <laughs> but these games have always had a special place in my heart, in my opinion. To to be quite honest with you. The the way that you boot Legend of Zelda up one, I mean, hold on, let, let me just. I doubt I get a copyright claim for this. If I do, that'd be sad. But the way you just boot this up, oh, I might say something. Yeah, because it's loading. Look at that. That, that is something, man. That is something. That is something. Can we, like, can we uh, explain the opening to this again? It was a masterpiece when this came out, and little kids were just putting it on the NES, and then boom. Wait, wait. And then boom. When I first... When I first when I first played this game, the first one, and I literally turned it on and I boom, once I heard that I was like and I was like that, that is why it's a masterpiece. <laughs> that why that's why it's a masterpiece. And this game is good, it's hard and challenging, and it's just all around a fun game. And you can do whatever you want in this game. You it doesn't stop you. If you know what you're doing, that's what I love about the first game, man. If you know what you're doing, you can do what the fuck you want. You can literally go to, you can defeat Ganon now, or you can do a few things, get some a few items and everything like that, then defeat Ganon. You don't have to go through the whole game. That is crazy. Some people went through the whole game with a bomb. Just a bomb. Just a bomb. I thought they were limited as fuck, but apparently not. If you can go through the whole game with it. <laughs> I'm thinking in these Legend of Zelda games, bombs are fucking, like, no, like, wait, like, not nothing. That's why I like to keep my bombs a lot. <laughs> in Legend of Zelda games, I'm like, I'm not wasting these bombs. What are you talking about, game? Put this bomb here. No, I'm not. I'm not wasting this shit. Bye. <laughs> but you can, pat, you can break this and then go to the store over there. Um, no, I, I would never know that because I didn't break it. <laughs> Most people be like, damn, <laughs> is that bad? <laughs> oh, man. It's just me stingy sometimes, but then I'll be like, fine. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Eventually, I would do it. But the first time, I'm like, no. Nah. No, nah. why would I have to waste my bomb? How come I can't just jump over it? You hear that? Jump. Link can roll. How come he can't roll and then jump? Huh? Like DK. That'd be pr- pretty cool, huh? <laughs> By the way, the rolling in the Minish Cap, it, it's, I never thought I needed something like that. When I first played it as a kid, it was my first Zelda game. But when I first played it, man, I, I was just playing through that, running around and going ape shit with that. And if you had, if, if you didn't experience that as a kid, I don't know what to tell you <laughs> because that shit was fun. I even was showing it off right now because I was just playing through this already. And and. In a way, uh, what is it? Some of these games are actually short. They're not that long. Um, it is quite an adventure, but they're not that long. And that's not a bad thing. That's not a bad thing. You don't have to overstay your welcome. Remember the time when Nintendo, uh, um, my, um, Nintendo and Capcom were together in, in, with this shit? I remember when I saw this, I was like, Capcom? What, they own Link or some shit? Yeah, I was so confused at the time. I'm like, oh, it's because they own Link. <laughs> 
<laughs> Can you believe that shit that I said that I thought about that a long fucking time ago as a kid? I'm dead fucking serious. Dead fucking serious. It's quite sad, quite frankly, when you look back. Should have smacked myself. No. <laughs> uh if you have any oh okay. Okay, I, I know what the okay, there we go. So I'm in the first dungeon obviously. So I'm just playing through it. And this just reminds me so much of my childhood just playing it because obviously, duh, it does. But <laughs> but look at that roll. That roll is awesome. That roll is pretty dope. That roll was good. So uh, there's a lot of games that have the Zelda roll. I mean, have the Link roll. Zelda roll. Good God, shoot me right now. So moving on. Have I ever played the other Zelda games besides these games? Um, obviously, these are the only Zelda games I've showed you that I've ever played in my whole goddamn life. Um, that's nothing against the yellow games. But like I said before, they didn't appeal to me more than these games did. I just don't know. Uh, that's just me. Maybe I'm a different type of Zelda fan that Nintendo doesn't really appeal to. And, you know... It, it, it appeals to, they appeal to, when it comes to these games, they feel like a niche crowd, when you really think about it. They are, they're, they're I don't want to say weird Zelda games, they're, they're beautiful, unique Zelda games that stand out on their own, and when you see the original stuff with Ganon and everything like that, not to say Ganon is not in some of these games that I mentioned, he is, <laughs> but... Some of the games that I mentioned right off the bat, he's not in it. He's in, what, Zelda 1. He's in, not in Zelda 2. He's not in the Minish Cap. <laughs> I definitely know that. Um, I don't think he's even in Minish... I mean, Minish Cap. He's not in Majora's Mask. I know that. I definitely know that. Let's see. Uh, What other games I mentioned? Link Between Worlds, is he in that? I think he's in that one, though. Is he? He should be in that one. No, no, it's this guy. This guy with the fucking goddamn mirror type shit. <laughs> that looks like Ganon, but it's not Ganon. But it could be Ganon. Oh, it's his ancestor. It's Ganon. Good God. <laughs> it's like, who are, we, who are we fooling here? Who are we fooling? Ourselves? Nah, not me. Not me. But overall, but overall, I think this series is awesome, obviously. This is awesome. I always had fun with it, even though I haven't beat none of them. <laughs> yeah, I know you guys can kill me in the comment section if you have to, but hey, man. If there's other games that you want to play and beat more, then you're going to fucking do it, especially if you're younger. And especially if you're getting older and you're going to be like, eh, I, I, feel, I feel like I have to, you know, it's funny too, because you commit more to other games that are way longer than the games that I ever mentioned. You could probably be three or four Zelda games before you beat Shimigami 5. <laughs> uh, oh, Grand Theft Auto 4. Because Grand Theft Auto 4 is actually pretty long. Longer than GTA 5, but I don't want to get to that. Uh, I guess a little pet peeve I have with GTA 5 a little bit, but uh, that's just me. Uh, I don't know. You just advertise it to, like, to this big magnum opus, and it, the story is just... I, I don't know. Um, it was there. Well, let's just say that. It was there. In the story. The story was there. <laughs> but, um... And a lot of people, and at the time, too, it's funny, too. Before the timeline, a lot of people thought that the Legend of Zelda series was just that. A legend. And you know what? Why not still think that? Most people still do, obviously. But why not still think about maybe it still is a legend in this whole timeline thing that we always put together. It's really just, eh. I'm not saying you can't love the timeline or anything like that or enjoy it or anything like that. Go ahead. If you love that shit, love it. But when you really think about it, th does it take away from the mystique of what you thought of what Legend of Zelda is? It's like, this is just another part of the Legend story. 
while you're looking at this timeline, you're like, oh, this is just part of a timeline and part of a narrative. Instead of just another grand legendary adventure to the point that you're going to you're gonna remember it. Not to say you won't remember the other ones, but when you have like a grand adventure, it feels like it's just a standalone thing that, that that's the thing. Legend of Zelda kind of feels like, it's funny too. I haven't beaten none of the games, but you know what it feels like to me? It feels like you have to be that warrior. It's almost like Dragon Quest, man. The original Dragon Quest game. You literally are that warrior that has to come back because the world is shit. And it doesn't matter if that warrior has to come from the fucking goddamn sky or has to be reborn somehow. But that hero is going to come back no matter what. Why? Because the earth and the planet is messed up and needs someone to save the world or defeat the Dark Lord, basically. To save everybody. Or to save a certain town, basically. So, that's what really Legend of Zelda is. It's literally... Legend of Zelda, when you look, when you should look at the Le- Legend of Zelda games, it should be literally telling you to, it should be screaming out, like, it should literally be screaming out to you that, hey, I'm calling you to this grand adventure that is like no other, and literally will never be talked about ever again, basically. Like, you would know it, everyone else would know it, everyone would talk about it, obviously, but the adventure would never happen again, because if you replay it, it's like feeling, yeah, you feel nostalgia, but you're not going to feel those moments as you felt when you played it in the beginning, you know? It's almost like that. But, it could, I don't know. That's just me. That's just me. Some people might feel different. That's fine. But, I look at this series, at least the ones that I played, calling me out. They're, they're like calling me into this grand adventure to the point that, hey, you're going to make history, basically. And the first, at least the first Dragon Quest game kind of made me feel that way, too. When I first played it, it made me feel like that literally I was changing history, basically. Have you ever played a game that you actually felt you were actually changing shit? And it's funny, too. The games that I mentioned are not high-end 3D graphics. Have you noticed that? They're not. They're not high-end graphics or something that people will be fun and appealing to. Even when they remade it. You know, at least Link's Awakening. I don't even want to get the remake of Link's Awakening. Man. I, I, it looks great. I like the art style in a way. I know some people hate it, which is fine. But, I don't know, man. When I watched that intro... Of Link going to shore, going to the island, and Myra, I believe that's her name, and she's shaking him and shit like that. And then you pan out. That moment made me fucking cry as a kid, man. That was a moment that literally just t- pulled the heartstrings and made me fucking cry in a way. And then the and then there's no emotion there in the remake. You can call me whatever you want, that's fine, but. You can't deny that something's different. You can't deny that. You can't deny that that's op- that opening is kind of different than what it is in the original version. Because if you watch it side by side, you're going to be like, one feels like it has more heart, while the other one was just like, yeah, let's just make it because it, it's like that. It was in the first one. And it's a remake. It feels corporate. It feels corporate. It does. It feels corporate. It feels kind of forced. That's just me. I'm not going to get too hyped up. I mean, too, like, about it. But when you look at it, it's like, oh. Well, that's disappointing. It just sucked the life out of that opening. Why should I play it? That's how it was. When I first saw that shit, I'm like, why should I play it? You sucked out of the opening. It looked beautiful for the start, and then all of a sudden you just and then, the, and then the instruments that played along with it at the same time just didn't sync well also to the original. I'm over here like, what are you doing? That's how I knew it was Russian. It wasn't thought of and no one didn't give a fuck. It, it was. Most people are like, oh, it didn't look Russian and all that. They, they worked hard on the music and they worked hard on the art style. Well, yeah, 
But when you put it together, it was rushed. They were like, yep, yep, sounds good, fine. Let's call it a day. That's how I felt with that opening, man. That opening shouldn't be that way. To Link to to Link's Awakening, man. That's like literally doing it to Legend of Zelda 1. You pop that in and then... Dun, 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 dun. And then all of a sudden, they remake it and then you get that... Dun, 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 or some shit. And you're over here like, the fuck is wrong with you? Are you drunk? Are you stupid? That's how I felt, man. That's how I felt. Not not spit to the face type quality, but to the point that it was lacking. It's like watching your own. It's like watching someone that you care about all of a sudden just become like dead, and you're like, "Are you good? Do you need help?" Because that's too much. <laughs> Again, I'm not harping on it, but I went like, "What? How many fucking goddamn minutes on this shit?" So I guess I am harping on it, right? So I, I, this is what the Legend of Zelda does to me, man, because. If you don't have a passion to even do the fucking goddamn cutscene, then don't fucking work on the project at all, man. <laughs> I'm dead serious, man. These games deserve the time and care that it needs, which is why I always complain that you should not be pushing too much Mario games or Zelda games. But you keep doing it and doing it and doing it. It's saturated as fuck to the point that I'm like, where the fuck is Donkey Kong? Where the fuck is Metroid? I'm, I, I know I'm mostly we play Donkey Kong. Got nothing in me- against Metroid. I would play, obviously. Uh, that's the thing. I never actually got my hands. I mean, I have got my hands on the series, but I never actually went through to the point that I'm gonna play through the whole series. You know, it's like that. So, condolences to the people that do, though. I'll say that right now. Congratulations, by the way, on uh, Metro Prime Four. To be quite honest with you, you guys deserve it. Um, I'm sure there might be just people uh, people out there who are disappointed, but have your own opinion, basically. But I'm proud of you guys that you guys, you know, you guys waited for that game, didn't you? So, you guys deserved it. So, you guys really deserved it. It's almost like, it's almost like the part when we got Kingdom Hearts 3 or something like that, or someone else got, you know, what is it, uh, Joker in, in, uh, in uh, Super Smash Brothers. They're like, ah! I remember that shit. I'm all like, I remember that shit so well that I didn't even have to, like, literally, YouTube was screaming it out at me, and I'm over here like, what? what? Joker, what? <laughs> Joker? That's not a Joker. <laughs> I'm like, that's, some sh- that's, a, that's a Shimigami character. Stop fucking with me, guys. <laughs> when it said Joker, I thought a completely different thing, and I'm over here like, I smell some bullshit. <laughs> but fun game, though. I haven't played Persona 5, but I have played Strikers. I, I, I had fun with it. I like the characters, to be honest. I, but I do want to play the first one really badly. Really fucking badly. But if you have, you would have done that already. I know, right? It's just not in my area right now. It's just not in my list of games to play right now. Literally, it's not. I mean... I got my own game to to to, to make. There's that, um, and I'll t- and I will make a separate video of how that's going well, guys. Because believe it or not, I'm close. I'm close. I'll say that right now. I'm close. I'll just say that. I'm not going far. So we got the Zelda games here. So obviously, let, let's just. I'm showing you the games that I even have here. So, sorry about the lighting, but, you know, you know how people love that raw gorilla style, to be quite honest with you. Some people do. It's actually making a comeback. And I'm like, oh, thank you. Thank you. We got the first Super Mario Brothers, then the second one, and the third one. I'm actually playing through these games right now. And I can actually beat Super Mario Brothers 3 right now, because I have the flute. I know where the flute, flute is at. I know this is a Zelda discussion. But let me mention a little bit of Super Mario Brothers three. Um, that and I, and this video is almost over too, but might as well just talk about this. Super Mario Brothers three has a special place in my heart because it is a good fucking goddamn game. Uh, some people might say it's overrated. I do not agree because that game is talked about like the plague, <laughs> but it's still good. 
it deserves to be talked about. It's one of those games that it deserves to be probably ridiculed for talking about too much. But it is worthy to be talked about and criticized that way because it's so good. It is so damn good. It's so good. And I had the magazine for it. I knew everything. I remember looking at the magazine, knew every secret and all that shit. Then eventually when I played the game, I was like, I was the master at that shit. Literally. As I got older, I forgot some of the secrets. <laughs> I remember playing it and I'm like, where is one? Oh wait, I know one, the flute. But that's all I know now. <laughs> that's what happened to me, man. Uh, when you get older, because I used to know so much as a kid, but now now I got older, like I'm 31 now, 31 years old, and I'm over here like, fuck. <laughs> uh, yes, I'm 31 years old now. I'm not 30 anymore. I was born on June 20th. I didn't make no video, obviously, but I didn't have to. So, I also got Dig Dug. You couldn't see that. That's Dig Dug. Can't show, I, I don't know why he doesn't have the little names there. And this is also, what is it, Devil Ward. I love this game, to be quite honest with you. I'm, I'm, the fact that it never came out in America is dumb. It is as dumb. It is as dumb. And that was the first incarnation of Yoshi, to be quite honest with you. No, it's not. Yet, it actually is. It's not called Yoshi, but that's what baby Yoshis look like. That's what baby Yoshis look like. You can you even fight them in Super Mario um Super Mario Land 3D, we in in Bowser's Lair you can see them flying and shit and everything like that with bat wings and you can stop on them and shit. I'm like oh my god I'm actually killing baby Yoshi's they're not full grown adults but they're there. And then when I saw that I'm like oh that's a nice reference to Devil Ward. See Namara still Namara oh god <sighs> kill me shit hang me hang me up to dry. Let's keep going. Street Fighter 2010. This game is fucking crazy. But, um, I actually like it. <laughs> I haven't even got the first... I haven't even got past the first level. And I like it. Actually, to be quite honest, I have passed the first level once. Then I immediately died. But the game is actually pretty cool. If you actually know what you're doing... It's actually pretty good, and when you figure out the buttons and all that, you stay. You if you be there for a while, you can actually beat this game pretty fast. And I've seen a video where you can actually cheat certain bosses. Like you can cheat literally almost every boss in the game. And I'm over here like, so where they spawn you is where you attack, and they don't hit you at all. That's a that's a player's mistake right there. Cause every time a player gets ported where they're at. They're gonna instantly move. So them so them attacking you is just an instant trap. That's fucked up. That's not really good game design when you think about it. <laughs> Especially if you're just standing there and you're shooting in any direction that you, you can and you're killing the boss. That's not good gameplay either. But hey, what do I know? I still have fun with the game too. <laughs> Even though I haven't gotten that far in it, I've seen a lot of reviews about it. So uh, this is the, the MWD Land games. Most people are like, what the fuck is that? It's the Mario Wario and Donkey Kong Land games. So, I don't have to mention here, of what games I have here, because you already know, I have literally all of them here. As you can see. I don't have I don't I don't have to talk about more Wario. You guys know that. So, moving on, and I got Mario Kart, Mario Kart um Super Circuit, and Mario Kart Seven. Now Super Circuit, I played it. I was literally like making fun of it. I'm like, oh my god, it's shit, because <laughs> everyone has made fun of this game so much. And I'm over here mocking it, like, oh my god, it's shit. And then uh, for a minute there, I was like, oh my god, it actually is shit. <laughs> but then later on, I got good at it to the point I'm like, oh, 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 okay, oh, okay. And then I got really good at it. That This is the most, most this is the most fun Mario game I ever fucking went through. 
to be quite honest with you. All the emotions I have with this game. But uh, this game could be a bitch sometimes because of the way the, the, the cost is all, basically. But I still recommend Super Circuit, to be quite honest with you. It, it's actually... It's not so bad, it's good. It's actually... You think it's bad, but when you spend more time with it, you'd be like, you're, you're not that bad. You're actually pretty fun. And you're kind of addicting for some reason. You know, it's like that. So moving on. And you got the Kirby games. Got this one. I am playing through that one. Th this one's fucking awesome. There's a 3D classic version of Kirby, which is fucking beautiful. And then you got um, 3D... Uh, what is it? Not 3D. Kirby uh, Triple Deluxe. I don't know why I said 3D for a minute. Let's see. And we got the Game Boy and Watch games. Got them here, because I, I actually like them. The only thing I don't have is 4. I, I don't think the emulator has 4. From what I can find. And you got just Game Boy games here. Let's see, which one's this one? This one is, uh, what's that one called? It is, um, Gargoyles Quest. Um, Kid Icarus, The Myths and Monsters. I played this game um, for a bit. It's hard, but some, but some fucking goddamn addicting fun, man. I love these Game Boy games, man. I love these Game Boy games. Then I got some Burger Time, Deluxe. You want some burger time deluxe? You know, the reason I got that here is because, you know, sometimes the ladies get a little bit of hungry and, you know, they want to play some fast food games. So, you know, it's the same thing with Pac-Man. You know, you know when they're playing that game, they, 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 they're hungry. Even though they, they don't know it. They'll be like, you want to eat something? Oh, I don't know. I mean, you're all playing that. You know, you got to talk to the lady sometimes, you know? <laughs> you got Donkey Kong uh, 94 right here, which is one of my favorite Donkey Kong games of all time. And we got Pokemon, gotta catch him all. Been playing that, by the way. Yeah. And I got the fish. I spend money on the fish. On the fish. That can only do splash. But I'm also leveling him up because I know how strong he is. People are gonna be fucked when they fuck with me. <laughs> In this game. And then I got um, Pokemon Yellow. Because I grew up with that. I grew up with both of these games. So. And I have a lot more games here. But I would just keep going all day, guys. I literally do. Seriously. Let me just show you this one. Since Nintendo announced it. I just downloaded it. And I'm playing through it. So. It was that. Um, I even have this. I already beat it so many times. It's ridiculous. Um, <laughs> uh. This one is still fucking classic as fuck. Seriously. Playing through this also. Again, so many games I'm playing through. And I got to this for like a few minutes. And I know this is really good. It's a um, One Piece game. I know a lot of people say that this is good. Um, let's see. We do got this one. Mario and Luigi. And we got... Dragon Quest 8, baby. We got Dragon Quest 8. We got Devil Survivor Overclock. Alright. Some of these games I just got new, but some of them are old. Like, the ones that are far more back this way, this, basically, I, I played them a little bit more. So, obviously. Because right now, I'm, I'm actually playing through, if you really think about it, I'm really, really playing through Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance right now. That's the most, that's the game right there I'm, I'm mostly playing and Super Smash Brothers and I have two versions of Super Smash Brothers yo what gives what the hell what, 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 what is this crap what are you doing well one of them is just a standalone one that I, ju that I got with the device obviously and the other one is obviously just my cartridge that this one has so many things in it that's ridiculous and I rather use this one to fuck with Instead of using the, the one that's in here, and fuck fuck up my uh, status and stuff. I don't want I don't, I don't want that to happen. I can fuck it up in here, but I'm not gonna fuck it up in here. <laughs> uh, gamers, you see, and this game right here, this game. Can we talk about this game? This game is a very good compliment to Ultima, in my opinion. 
But that's just me. So this is the Skull Clown signing off. Have a nice day. And be safe. Guys, seriously be safe. And tell me what you guys think tomorrow. Peace.